54 years old. Sharon, do you think that 50 is the new 30? Is 50 the new 30? Absolutely not. W way too much, way too, much more maintenance than 30 required. Constant maintenance. Constant physical maintenance or other maintenance as well? Physical, emotional, definitely both. What are the biggest changes in your life since you've hit 50? I'm falling apart. <laughs> oh, you know, I have kids, kids leaving for college, you know, aging parents to take care of, uh, keeping that, you know, 25-year-old marriage alive, keeping that spark going, you know, a lot of stuff. That spark going is something I talk about in the book, but a lot of people don't talk about. It's not, it, it requires a certain amount of, uh, what would you say? Imagination. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Staying awake. <laughs> Staying awake, absolutely. <laughs> Keeping it interesting. Keeping it interesting. So you've been married 25 years. Do you have a lot of friends who are your age who, I hear from a lot of women things like, I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know what lies ahead. I don't know where to go. Do you have, I mean, you know, you're, you are happily married, clearly because you do this work. But, um, <laughs> but you know, you have the change with your kids, and, and you have a steady job, which a lot of people don't. So you, you know, you don't fall into some of the traps that some of the women I talk to do. Do you have friends? Do you, do you talk to other women your own age? And Absolutely. I think it's uh, every, all of us, you know, most women are going through, I think, the same feelings of trying to, um, I don't know, reinvent or, or, you know, take stock of, you know, where they are and, and where they're going and, because, you know, the time that's passed seems a lot longer than the time in, ahead of you. So it's a, I think everybody's going through that, trying to do it all. Do you have a kind of a bucket list or things that you really want to do in the next 20 years? Mm, I'm trying to formulate that now. I don't know that I have that, that formulated yet. But you think it's important? I do. Yeah, it's very important. I think it's important for me to formulate it very soon because that I think that is also part of what stresses us out you know not really knowing maybe what we want or you know what should be on our bucket list are you afraid of getting older mm, I never was but I, I find a little bit recently that maybe a little bit more but you just have to you know make sure that you keep moving forward and, and redefining and figuring it all out, you know. And I realize it's going to take a little more figuring out than I thought it would five years ago. So what are, what are, what are the three rules that you live by to keep you kind of, because you're a pretty together girl when you're not nagging me about flossing my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, everything in moderation, I think, um, although, you know, that comes into play again with how, you know, how well we're supposed to eat to, you know, to live to be a hundred. I don't know that I'm doing that quite as much, but I've always tried to do everything in moderation. I might have to change that a little bit and be a little more strict with myself, I guess. And, um, you know, keep, keep your connections, keep your friends and your family, you know, close to you, and uh, try to just keep talking to yourself all the time. It's constant self-talk. <laughs> well, you're a terrific girl. You look great, and thank you for sharing your, uh, your views on 50. I'll talk to you when you're 60. Yeah. God willing. <laughs>